Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're gonna look at how to create simple lower thirds inside of Premiere Pro. Lower thirds are really heavily used elements that people keep going back to. They're professional, they give necessary information, and they're essential to a lot of different kinds of video production. But a lot of people think that you need to be a graphic designer or be proficient in After Effects in order to make them. This is not true. And with the new addition of motion graphics capabilities inside of Premiere, it's easier now than it's ever been. So let's dive in and get started. The first thing you want to do is simply create text for the information you want to display. For our example, it's a name and a company. So let's type it out. Select your type tool or hit T. And then, over your program monitor, type it all in. Cool, now let's size it and put it on the bottom left hand corner. When it comes to lower thirds, like the name would suggest, you typically put it on the lower third of your frame. Typically on the left, but your footage will help dictate where you place it. For example, if your subject of focus is on the left hand side, it might look and feel better to have the text on the opposite side. Choose a font that works well with your style and your type of production. A lot of lower thirds will have the most important information in bigger bolder letters and the secondary information in a smaller size. Now, to be honest, we're pretty far along already. The last thing we're going to do is just a matter of preference, but I think it would look better and be easier to read if we put a solid behind our text. Thankfully, you can do this right inside of Premiere. Go to Graphics, New Layer, Rectangle, and then place and resize it over your text. Now go to Essential Graphics and move the solid layer down to the bottom. Now it's a backdrop for your text. Finally, with your shape layer selected, go down to Fill and choose the color that works for your project. There we go, we've got a really basic, simple lower third and we made it all in Premiere Pro. But if we play it with our footage, it just blips in and out of existence. To make it look a little more professional, we can simply add a fade in and out. You can do this by either adding a cross dissolve on either side, or by keyframing your clips so that it does the same thing. And there you go, now you have a lower third for your video. But why don't we try to spice it up a little bit? Let's try animating it into our shot. With your text clip selected, go to Effect Controls and we're going to move this entire lower third as a unit. Keyframe your text at the starting frame and move it off screen. Now, move forward a few frames or a few seconds, whatever feels right to you, and now move in your text. A keyframe should be automatically applied here, but you can check just to be safe. You can see that we're getting somewhere, but right now it looks boring and it's not very good. Next, hit the little arrow beside your position sliders. You should see a little grid here. It should be set up in such a way that high animation speed is at the top, and it decreases as you go down, all the way to motionless. So what you're going to do is take this keyframe here and raise it up all the way to the top. And now take this one and drop it all the way to the bottom. Now stretch this little nub out to make your effect more gradual. To do this to the opposite side and make it move out of frame, take the second keyframe and copy it. Now move near the end and paste it. Now do the same thing with the first keyframe and move it to the very end of your clip. Moving these keyframes around will change how fast or how slow these movements happen. And there you go, now you've got a lower third that looks way more professional, coming to a gradual stop and then leaving after a few seconds. But now here's maybe the best part. You can save your lower third as a motion graphics template. Go to graphics, export as a motion graphics template, and now you can save your lower third so that it's ready for future projects. And that's it. Making lower thirds in Premiere Pro is simpler now more than ever. But if you'd still like to download professional pre-made lower thirds, Motion Array has a variety of options for you to choose from. Some for free, and some as a part of their subscription service. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.